Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. As families worldwide plan their summer vacations, the average hotel room in New York City is now over $300 a night because so many of them have had to take up business as shelters for migrants. With about 135 of the city's nearly 700 hotels being used as part of the shelter program, the average day rate for a hotel in the Big Apple rose 8% from $277.92 in 2022 to $301.61 in 2023 as the supply of room slumps. That means a large family plotting their summer vacation in the city could be spending in the thousands just for somewhere to stay. In the first three months of each year, hotel rates typically drop, but in the first quarter of 2024, the average room went for $230.79 a night, a rise from $216.38 for the same period last year. It comes New York City stepped up its efforts to push migrants out of its overwhelmed shelters Wednesday as it began enforcing a new rule that limits some adult asylum seekers to a month in the system before they have to find a bed on their own. Migrants without young children must now move out of the hotels, tent complexes and other shelter facilities run by the city and find other housing after 30 days, or 60 days for those aged 18 to 23, unless they provide proof of extenuating circumstances and are granted an exemption. According to the New York Times, the hotels participating in the program get $185 per night per room from the city. The city has lost over 16,000 hotel rooms over the program to tourists, with just 121,677 remaining. That number is already 2,812 fewer than how many there were before the pandemic. Keeping hotel rooms scarce, none of the hotels who applied to the program, like the four-star Row NYC Hotel in Times Square or the Roosevelt near Grand Central, have returned to how they did business before the crisis. Because of that, four-star hotels like Citizen M in Times Square are charging at least $389 a night for a room, according to Hotels.com. At least 22 hotels are in Midtown Manhattan which includes Times Square, the Grand Central Terminal and the Empire State Building. A three-star joint like Stay Pineapple is still going for no lower than $308 per night per room. The huge price hikes will hit average income families finding that a mid-range hotel room now costs close to what a luxury stay would have cost pre-crisis. I really believe it's enabled two dash, two and a half star hotels to be a little more emboldened, to take advantage of the situation and charge prices that perhaps they wouldn't otherwise be able to said Sean Hennessy, a hotel industry advisor and clinical associate professor at New York University. Further increasing demand for hotels is a citywide ban on short-term Airbnb rentals, with most of those properties now only available for stays of 30 days or more, which rules out almost all tourist bookings. Mayor Eric Adams, on the other hand, sees it differently, saying that tourism interest in the city has increased prices in a statement. The return of tourists to New York City is reflected at hotels as well where demand is up, the statement said. New York City is safer, cleaner and, as the numbers show, continues to be one of the most popular destinations in the United States. As of late Wednesday, 192 migrants had applied for an extension after hitting their limit, and 118 had been approved, Mayor Eric Adams' office said. Thousands more are expected to receive eviction notices in the coming months. The new restrictions came after Adams' administration in March succeeded in altering the city's unique right to shelter rule requiring it to provide temporary housing for every homeless person who asks for it. Before the new rule came into effect, adult migrants without children were still limited to 30 days in a shelter, but they were able to immediately reapply for a new bed with no questions asked. The city also restricts migrant families with young children to 60-day stays but they aren't impacted by the new rule and can still reapply without providing any justification. Still, an audit found that the rollout was haphazard over the past six months. Immigrant rights and homeless advocates say they re-closely monitoring the eviction process, which impacts some 15,000 migrant adults. The city shelter system currently houses about 65,000 migrants, but many of those are families with kids. Adams, a Democrat, on Tuesday pushed back at critics who